Well, this white prop cake certainly is lovely. If you've been watching our show, you already know that we're fans of bright colors. So today, I'm going to give this plain white prop cake the KQ Rainbow Treatment. It's time for Kitchen Queers! Greetings, peeps. Welcome to another episode of Kitchen Queers. Mitch in the dining room here with you. Why am I in the dining room? Like many of you, I do not have the luxury of a dedicated arts and crafts room. So I use the dining room table for all sorts of projects. Today's project is painting this prop cake. Right about now, you might be wondering why anyone would even need a prop cake. Prop cakes, also often referred to as faux or dummy cakes, are used in stage, TV, and film productions in store windows for display purposes, as staging elements in model homes, as centerpieces for special occasions, for outdoor functions where a real cake would likely melt, and sometimes prop cakes are used as decorator home accessories just because they look so pretty. Well here at KQ, one of my favorite jobs is decorating the set before we take, and I thought it would be super cool to have a cake on the back counter once in a while. Meanwhile, it's probably not realistic to expect to bake a fresh cake to put on the set every week. So I went online and bought this pre-frosted plain white prop cake. It's made out of styrofoam, so it's really lightweight. And the frosting is actually plaster that takes paint really well. To create this rainbow prop cake, you'll need one nine inch pre-frosted plain white prop cake, bottled acrylic craft paint in your choice of colors. Today, I'm using blue, green, yellow, orange, red, purple, and magenta. You'll also need a stiff paintbrush, a cup of water, a tube of white latex caulking, a few paper towels to clean up any messes. I'm also going to use a plastic paint palette to dispense the paint. As you can see, the faux frosting on the prop cake has lines that were created by the palette knife used to apply the plaster. I'm going to utilize those lines in the plaster to create the rainbow stripes. I'm going to begin with the purple paint. Dispense a small amount of purple paint in the palette. First, I'm going to paint a purple stripe right down the center of the top of the cake. Looking good so far, I love this purple. Now I'm going to rinse out the brush and start Start another color. So the paint colors don't bleed into each other, I'm going to paint every other stripe first. Once those are dry, I'll come back in and finish everything else. On one side of the purple stripe I'll use red, and on the other I'll use the magenta. So now I'm going to paint the orange stripe since it's not right next to the purple. So far I'd say these colors are looking great. Next I'm going for the green. Do your best to fill in the stripes as evenly as you can. Time for the blue. Hooray! We've got some lovely color going on. Be sure you rinse and dry the brush very thoroughly before between colors. Now it's time for some yellow. Okay, so far so good. Our colors are looking mighty festive. I'm going to let these stripes dry and move on to the sides of the cake. So I finally got some color going on on the sides of the cake and this purple looks awesome. I'm going to continue painting every other segment until I go all the way around the whole cake. So now I've got every other stripe on the sides of the cake painted. Before I move on to painting the other stripes, I'm going to take a break for about half an hour and allow all of this paint to dry very thoroughly. Ooh, these bright colors are looking good. The paint on the top of the cake is now dry so I can move on with painting the alternate stripes. I'm going to begin with the red. Okay, the first red stripe is painted. Now I'm going to continue painting until the entire cake is covered with rainbow stripes. After I allowed all of the paint to dry overnight, I observed that the colors were not as opaque as I wanted them to be. So I painted a second coat over each color on the entire cake. This made all of the colors really pop. To cover up the less than attractive edge of the cake board, I used white latex caulking. The rainbow prop cake is finished. Ooh. Ah. Well, I think this rainbow prop cake looks spectacular. Can you tell if it's a prop cake? It looks real to me. This rainbow prop cake will look great on our set. It'll also make an excellent centerpiece for a party. I think this colorful and vibrant rainbow prop cake is spot on. Hey peeps, be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell symbol so you won't miss out on upcoming KQ videos. Thank you for joining us, Kitchen Queers. See you next time. Kitchen.